be here tonight. Good crowd tonight uh, here at the Beckfield of Tavern here. Uh, new MPs tonight. We have Labour MP Adrian Rorofe. We've got uh, Andrew Bailey, National MP Tracy Martin, who's been on the show uh, a number of times. But I took to the streets uh, of Wellington uh, this afternoon and uh, I asked this question. What flag design do you prefer? Point to your favourite. That one. The old one. That will do. You like that? Why do you like that oh, one? Oh, no, maybe this one. Yeah, this one as well. That one there, the tall fern with the red? Yeah. Uh, the, that one there, the black. And what, why is that? I don't know. The leaf and it's black and white, which is both us half-caste Kiwis, you know. So it represents what, Māori or... Māori Māori and Pākehā, obviously, because um, black and white, yeah. I like the old one better. You want to stick with the old one? Yeah, only because I don't like any of the others. They just look like logos more than an actual flag, to be honest. Personally, I think though that the old flag can stay. Um, doesn't really need to be changed. If you had some good designs on offer, or what you saw as good designs, would you be keen to change the flag? Yeah. What about the one on the top right, the red peak one? The one that they just uh, people kind of like. Do you, do you like that one? Uh, I think it's okay. I think kids could draw it quite easily, which yeah. is important. But I think the other ones kind of show a bit more symbolism of New Zealand. It doesn't look like, you know, this represent the New Zealand. So I prefer this one. But the past is always good to remember, but you know, something new and modern is good. I think it's just the one that lost out that everyone else has decided they want and they want to get it in at the last minute. And cool. No one cares about it until then. <laughs> Yeah, the good old flag debate, eh? Look, we had to kind of talk about it, didn't we? Because it is a big issue in the, uh, in the history of Aotearoa, whether we should change our flag or not. Just first around the panel, should we change our flag? I think it's quite clear that most of New Zealand don't want to, but they'll have their say on it. Which, you personally, which is okay. should we change our flag one oh. day? I think when we have the conversation about the constitutional arrangements of our country and we are clear about the position of the Treaty of Waitangi, that would be the time to change it. Yeah, but yeah, but are, you guys, are you guys being a bit mean-spirited? You're not buying into the, the, into the debate? Are you a bit, being a bit mean-spirited about the flag debate? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think uh, it's a, a fair reflection of the wider community, so no. All right, what about you, Andrew? Do you, was this debate foisted on us? Was it again... Another political thing. Hey, look, uh, I think we just need to sit back and reflect a little bit. We've got an opportunity to choose whether we're going to have a new flag or not. At the end of the day, New Zealanders will decide. And if we retain the existing flag, that'll be the, it, what everyone decides. That'll be a good outcome. So what do you think? Personally, yeah. I'd like to change the flag. You'd like to change the flag? Yep. And what would, you like to what, would, there's what, what would you like to change it to? Uh, I like the one with the blue bottom uh, and the black with the silver fern. Oh, so the silver fern, yeah. all right. Yep. What about the red peak flag? No, I don't particularly... Uh, like it myself. Would you, would you personally like to have the red peak flag in the referendum? Uh, personally, yes. no. No, because I don't like it particularly. All right. What about you, Tracy? Do you think that... Are you, are you a flag-changing person? No. At all? No. Never? Why? No. Um, there's nothing wrong with the current flag. Um, we've got history with the current flag. We had it first. Make the Australians change. It's not us, though, is it? It's... Oh, it's not us. It doesn't represent you. It doesn't represent it me. Does. It does represent me. It represents me. I come. You know, it represents our connection to the treaty through the, uni through the so? Union Jack. It represents Asian, our, our connection to the that? Pacific, to the ocean. It represents us. No, it, it doesn't. It's not a fair reflection uh, from a Māori world view. Yeah. Uh, uh, that conversation needs to be had in the wider community so that we are all clear about what that actually looks like. All right, I'll come back to you guys, but let's go to Damien. Well, I, I thought it was important that, um, you know, Wallace, I, the rest of everyone in the house and the pubs, we're all be, we'll all be dead soon. The people that are going to have to live with this uh, new flag are the young people. So I thought we'd go, we've already established that you're a, a Labour, Labour voter, or you will be one day. Um, what do you reckon about the flag choices? I reckon there's lots of history behind this one. And personally, I think all of them are terrible. So let's just keep our Aotearoa flag. <laughs> <laughs> We've got. Oh, right. Can we just come with, come with me quickly, cameraman? Just we, we've got just up the back wow. here. I found right. some other. I, I found some other young people. Just to, just here in the corner. It's a little bit dark, but uh, you're about 14. Is that what you said? Um, yeah. Okay. What are you reckon about the flag choices? Oh, um, uh, you're on TV now. Come on, don't freak out. I like the red peak one. You like the red peak one. Okay. What about you? Same. Red Peak, okay, all right. Do you think you could live with that for the next 100 years as the New Zealand flag? Yeah. 
Okay. Cool, there you go. A couple of, there's three young people, two red peaks, uh, one everything is terrible. So there, there is a red peak guy just here behind, by the rails, Damien. He's, he's, got, the, he's got the sort of uh, poster. Do you want to go to him? Because he seems to be the one person he is keen. Uh, in the he audience. Is keen. All right. Uh, G'day, mate. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Actually, so you've gone to the trouble of getting uh, an A4 printer and, and printing out on a piece of slightly mangled paper a red peak flag. That is a lot of effort you've gone to. Well, actually, I've also painted it on my fence in full size. Oh my on the god! Outside my house. <laughs> that is that is come man. As not to mention the, the neck tattoo that he's got. <laughs> That's not true. That's but not I true. Had other people in the audience asking if I could have brought that one for them too. What do you like? Because I, I saw a petition the other day, and 35,000 people have now signed the petition. But how many people have done that because they just don't? like the Prime Minister? Well, you can't answer that, but, but, but what you have to look at is the choice we've been given, a, a lousy, you know, three ferns <laughs> and a coro. <laughs> to, to, only one of them can be drawn by a kid, and, you know, let's have a real choice. We thought we were going to have a real choice. We haven't been given it. Why is the kid could draw it thing so important? Because Albania's got this awesome-looking two-headed dragon devil hawk eagle thing. Um, impossible for a kid to draw, but it's a cool flag. Well, yeah. Who can remember that flag apart from you? <laughs> Iconic flags, we talk about France or Canada, something really simple, everybody knows what it is. You see that large or small, you know what it is. If you see Albania on the medals in the Olympics, that's going to be so... Small. To be fair, Albania never win anything ever, so anyway. All right, well, let's back to you. You've got, to, you've got to appreciate it, though, uh, Andrew, don't you? It's a bit of a piss-poor choice in terms of a choice. Three silver ferns. You've got to at least admit that much. Come on. I mean, th what, what sort of choice is that? Hey, look, an independent panel came up with the choices, right? Hey, it's not a it's win. It's a John this Key is a, choice, isn't but it? But this thing is not a win or lose scenario, right? No, no, if no. If at no. the end of the day no one wants to change it, that's where we end up. That's a great outcome for New Zealand. All right, what do you think? Twenty-six million dollars later. Twenty-six right. million dollars later. Of which later, most of it goes to. We don't through. change it, of so which you've most had your voice, and they've spent twenty-six million dollars right. of hey, your just money. Hands up in the audience. Hands up those who actually do like the red peak thing, or is it just a social media thing? Hands up and get the cameras around the... No, that's about four or five people. It's not really... Damien, go to that person there. Yeah. Which, which per this person right... Not, not you. Why not? So I'm a staffer. Oh, you're a staffer, so you can't have an opinion about oh, right. a flag. I, Come on. <laughs> I, I just think the whole thing's a farce, and um, there'll be a time to do it, but it's not now. Strictly on a design basis, uh, do you like any of the alternative designs? No, because the design should be simple. The flag, the flag commission itself put out a video on principles of flag design. They followed none of them. Don't you, don't you think? And this is my opinion that because it's an STV voting system, you have to vote preference things. They've just stacked it so a fern's going to win regardless. Yeah, and they've done the referendums the wrong way around, so you can't vote no the first time round. You agree with Winston on that one? I agree with Labour on that one. <laughs> <laughs> now we know who you work for. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just finally, Adrian Rurafe, before we go, if the flag gets changed to the silver fern flag yeah. and Labour gets in, <clears throat> would you honour that flag or will you change it back? Uh, I don't think uh, the country would be in the mood to change it at all. I think that whatever the outcome of the referendum next year, that's it. That's it? Yeah. All right, OK. Look, do stay with us. Uh, we are back very shortly.